This is a production of Cornell University. This annual feature, the Liberty Hyde Bailey Lecture, features distinguished faculty from the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences who will be discussing their work, which also highlights key priority areas for the college. The lecture's namesake, and that is Liberty Hyde Bailey, was the very first dean of Cornell's New York State College of Agriculture after that college was established by the New York State Legislature in 1904. And for those of you who would like a little piece of trivia, the iconic Bailey Hall across the street is named after Dean Liberty Hyde Bailey. Now, Liberty Hyde Bailey had a remarkable career. The breadth and the diversity of that career, which mirrors that of Cal's even to this day. Bailey was a botanist and a plant breeder who played a crucial role in the development of the field of horticulture science. In addition to that, though, he was a writer, an editor, a poet, a rural sociologist, a philosopher, a traveler, and an environmentalist. In his honor, today's panel presentation is entitled From Farm to Fork, How Cal's is Leading the Food Revolution. Our college is a strong leader in the food space because as with Liberty Hyde Bailey, the college has incredible breadth of expertise. Our knowledge base supports all stages of food production from basic to translational research to an extension network that puts our groundbreaking discoveries into the hands and the fields of growers and consumers across New York State and well beyond. Whether it's breeding tastier vegetables and disease resistant fruits, whether it's improving the quality and the safety of our dairy products, or supporting new crop markets that can thrive on the East Coast, our researchers are demonstrating just how central this college is to the food revolution, both here in New York State and around the world. And now to that end, I would like to introduce to you today's panelists. And I'll start with Thomas Bjorkman, who is a professor of horticulture in the School of Integrative Plant Science. Thomas earned his bachelor's degree from the University of California, Davis, and his PhD from Cornell's plant biology program. After conducting postdoctoral studies on the West Coast, Thomas returned to Cornell in 1990, joining the Horticultural Sciences Department on Cornell's Geneva campus. Thomas works on many aspects of plant development that affect the productivity, the quality, the sustainability, and the profitability of New York grown vegetables. He directs the Eastern Broccoli Project, which seeks to create a reliable, high quality, year round supply of Eastern grown broccoli for East Coast markets. Our next panelist is Michael Mazurik. Michael, a plant breeder, is the Calvin Noyes Keeney Professor of Plant Breeding at Cornell University. He received his PhD from Cornell in 2008. Michael's vegetable breeding program uses traditional methods of cross-pollination to develop new cultivars of squash, peppers, and many other vegetables for organic farming systems. His process is informed by surveys of the natural diversity and by studies of the underlying genetics that allow adaptation of the plant material into naturally managed ecosystems. He selects the traits that, uh, that he's looking for in the plants, both by what is in demand by growers and by consumers. So for example, the grower-driven traits that interest Michael focus on fungal, and insect resistances that will work in regionally adapted backgrounds to provide a reliable and a productive harvest. On the consumer side, his consumer-driven traits focus on color, quality, flavor, and novelty to drive the consumption of naturally nutritious food. Our next panelist is Carmen Moraru, and Carmen is a professor in the Department of Food Science. She earned her bachelor's and PhD degrees in food engineering from the University of Galate in Romania. Carmen's research and teaching interests are in the areas of physical and engineering properties of food, of dairy food processing, and food safety engineering. She is specifically interested 
in developing and optimizing novel food processing methods to enhance food safety, quality, and product shelf life. She also is working on developing microbial repellent surfaces and on understanding and controlling the intermolecular interactions and structural transformations that occur during the processing of foods. Our final panelist is Courtney Weber, who is a professor in the horticulture section of the School of Integrative Plant Science. Courtney grew up on a dairy farm in central Illinois, and he earned his Bachelor of Science from the University of Illinois, but all his, P his MS and his PhD both from the University of Florida. Courtney has worked at Cornell for 18 years in berry breeding and genetics, specifically working on strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries, the really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. His research uses genomics and molecular markers to examine genetics and the inheritance of disease resistance. He holds patents on seven berry varieties that are four strawberries and three raspberries, and he has an eighth patent that is under preparation for the Archer strawberry, which is his newest variety, which was just released in 2016. And now finally, I would like to introduce today's moderator, and that is Chris Smart. Chris Smart is the interim director of the School of Integrative Plant Science, and she's also a professor of plant pathology. She earned her bachelor's and PhD from Michigan State University. Her research seeks to develop improved management strategies for vegetable diseases by increasing our understanding of pathogen biology and the diversity of those pathogens under field conditions. Using this information, she provides growers with novel disease management options while also promoting sustainable agricultural practices. Chris's outreach efforts also involve developing partnerships between Cornell University and elementary school educators and students to help increase student awareness of agriculture. And so now, I would like to turn the program over to Chris Smart and our panelists. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dean Bohr. It's a pleasure for me to moderate the Liberty Hyde Bailey panel today. It's, it's really nice for me, actually. Uh, my daughter, Stephanie Smart, just completed her freshman year here at Cornell. And while you, you may have noticed from my bio that I have no Cornell connections other than by marriage, um, my husband, Larry Smart, has his 30th reunion this year. He is a professor in plant breeding and genetics and got his uh, undergraduate bachelor's degree here in 1987. Larry's mom, Marjorie Smart, got her bachelor's degree from Cornell in 1957, so this year is her 60th reunion. Marjorie's mother, <laughs> this is pretty cool, the family I married into, Florence Nelson, got her bachelor's degree from Cornell in 1927. So it's really cool that my daughter can be this fourth generation not just a Cornelian, but a strong tradition of women in education at Cornell. And it's exciting for me to be a part of that. So this year, this reunion year is really special for us. So, <laughs> enough about my family history. Um, I do want to say that the plant and food science at Cornell has never been more vibrant, nor has it been more important to our local communities and to people across the globe. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as Dean Bohr mentioned, I'm the interim director of the School of Integrative Plant Science, and that brings together hundreds of scientists who are researching, teaching, and extending information about plants and the soils in which they grow. Um, our research in SIPS, or the School of Integrative Plant Science, spreads a breadth of topics from fundamental plant science, how our leaves forms, how do, how do flowers form, all the way to solving problems for agricultural producers here in New York and around the world. Today we're gonna hear about some of the work that um, people, faculty members in the School of Integrative Plant Science have combined with others across CALS, including Carmen, to bring healthy, safe and nutritious foods from our farms to our tables. Each of our panel members will speak for about 10 minutes 
and then we'll move on to the next panel member. After the fourth panel member has spoken, then we'll open up the floor for questions. We'll begin today with Michael Mazurek, who is a professor in plant breeding and genetics. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.